that mountain right there is where I have my off-grid cabin where I've been running it for two years now and uh, haven't really had any issues but now I have the EcoFlow Delta Max and I'm going to test to see if it will run my off-grid cabin just like the other system that's up there. So let's go ahead and head up. I'm gonna go ahead and get the Delta Max out of here. You can see I have it in the back of my truck. Got the two batteries and everything all right here. And I even brought my snowshoes because I definitely need them today. All right, you guys come on in. This is uh, the mudroom right here. And we've still got our Christmas tree set up, but this is the whole cabin. It is actually pretty small. It's just under a thousand square feet total, but we keep it heated year round with that propane fireplace. And we have a thousand gallon propane tank that actually in the last year, we only use 30% of it. So it does last a very, very long time. We have a full bathroom here, heated shower, tankless water heater, Full-size fridge, you're gonna be swapping that out for a DC fridge eventually. And coming up the loft here, see we've got two couches, there are hideaway beds, and three beds. But one of the coolest things is actually this right here. This is a 100% solar powered mini split for heating and cooling. Cause it's got the green circle there, that means it's got enough solar to be running. And it is blowing very hot air up here. Got a little mini loft, the kids like to sleep up there sometimes. Got a TV, back deck. But now I've got the uh, EcoFlow Delta Max here and I'm gonna go ahead and get it set up. So I keep my Titan solar generator here underneath this bed. It's already at 99% and I've pretty much turned everything on here in the cabin. Now with the Titan, I have three batteries total for a total of 6,000 watt hours, which is equivalent to what this is right here. So we're gonna have a really nice comparison between these two systems. The biggest difference is that the Titan has 2,000 watts of solar input whereas the Delta Max only has 800 watts of solar input. So I'm gonna take a couple of solar panels that are 400 feet on the top of the hill, and I'm gonna connect them here to the Delta Max. The second biggest difference is the inverter. The Titan has a 3000 watt inverter, whereas this has a 2400 watt inverter, which is still really good, but not as big as the Titan here. And the Titan is a little bit easier because it just has a big RV plug right on the front. So I'm gonna to have to use an RV adapter plug on this just to get everything up and running. Basically the RV plug runs all the downstairs and then we have this big power splitter that runs everything upstairs. I really do like these storage compartments here on the top of these batteries. I got my solar cable right here and then my two battery cables here. And now it says we're putting out about 360 watts through the whole cabin. So now I need to go to the very top of the hill, rewire some panels so that way I get the proper voltage and amperage coming into here because the voltage range for the MPPT charge controller is 11 to 100 volts and up to 10 amps. So I've got some solar panels up top that I'm gonna stay within that range and get this charging up. So I just walked outside and there are three sage grouse right there in that bush. Pretty cool, there's a fourth one off in the tree next to it too. This is my 3.9 kilowatt or basically 4,000 watt solar array. And I'm basically gonna take two of these solar panels right here, disconnect them from the Titan and get them working for the Delta Max. I got my voltmeter on these two panels here and I'm getting 78 volts. So I know that's within the charge parameter. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these two panels, connect them to these main wires right here. These are eight gauge cables that go all the way down to the cabin. So you can see we're at 79.4 volts down here off this cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this cable to the Delta Max. I have two 315 watt solar panels connected to this. So it says recharging time, two hours, 93%. Running everything is what the batteries are doing. It's like they're starting to charge up now too. This is interesting, it's just been a couple of minutes and it still says we have a high input, but it no longer says it's charging. I'm not sure why that is. Okay, I turned off all of the AC power. So it's just the batteries and the system here and the solar. There is nothing running off of this. So now it looks like it's adding charge to the batteries. 
it's pushing out 280 watts to the batteries and I have a total of 615 coming in. You can hear the fan just kicked up a little bit. Now you can see the lights are back on, everything's powered up, and now it says we're pushing out 350 watts. Now there seems to be zero issue at all. We got 600 watts input, which is just under what it should be getting, which is pretty incredible. 400 watts output, recharging it, no problem at all. Everything seems to be working great. This has been running for about 45 minutes or so now, but the fan is quite loud. It's actually louder than my Titan solar generator, and a lot of people thought that the fan was loud on that. So keep that in mind, it is a bit noisy. So if you were to use this in an RV or a cabin like this, you will be hearing that when it's getting a solar charge. But I'm gonna let these run all night long and then we'll see how things are in the morning and how this starts charging again with solar. The original Delta 1300 that I tested some time ago, that was one of the major issues is that it wouldn't start recharging with solar very well the next day after running all night. But we'll check back in the morning and see how well this is doing. Well, it is the next morning. You can see we've got some clouds outside. It's not very sunny. And this is where it's really important to have the ability to over panel, just like on the Titan. Basically, this says right now that we're getting 212 watts of input. This battery here is at 6%. This one's at 9%. And then the main unit is at 19%. So that gap between the main unit and the other units has really grown. These are directly connected each on their own lines. So I'm not sure what's causing the huge difference in percentage here. But what I want to see now is if I disconnect the solar panels, what happens? So it says we're outputting 205-ish and inputting about 210. Uh, it doesn't say that it's charging at all. And it says it's got six hours left. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that. And it barely goes down by any amount. Now it's down to 178. We connect it back in and see how much this goes up. No, right back to the same amount pretty much. And I think that's just because it's a cloudy day right now, I'm not getting the best sun. The input here is really confusing because it's getting input from the batteries. So that makes it really hard to understand how much power is actually coming in from solar. And that's probably the biggest issue I have with the Delta Max is this input reading is really hard to understand because it mixes the battery power and the solar power. So I've gone ahead and disconnected all of the AC power, the, the downstairs, the upstairs, everything is disconnected from the Delta Max. I've still got the solar connected. We're up to 71 watts of solar input. It says it's gonna take 52 hours to charge. Obviously it's still early in the morning and the sun hasn't come all the way up yet. So I'm anxious to see what it's gonna change, but I'm gonna leave this for the whole day, just charging by itself with nothing attached to it except for the 630 watts of solar panels. I'm gonna get real life feedback on how much this will charge. Is that 19%, 5%, and 9% down here? So it's been a couple hours. This is now at 24%. It says it's inputting 320 watts. And now the bottom left battery is at 8%, and the bottom right is at 11%, getting 78 input and 78 input. So it is charging the other batteries now. Doesn't seem to have the same issues with the charge controller as the Delta 1300. It was only an hour or so after leaving the cabin that the skies became perfectly clear. So I'm heading back up right now, and I'm excited to see how the Delta Max is doing on a day like today with charging up. Now, if you want to support the channel, you can go to patreon.com slash Minuteman Prep and be a contributor. I'm going to be doing giveaways and free content and special contact to me and stuff like that for all my Patreon members. And I truly appreciate that. That helps me purchase this kind of equipment so that way you guys can get this kind of feedback without any bias of any way, shape or form. All right, so the sun is going down right now, but I'm still getting about 220 watts of solar input right now. So when I left earlier today, there was about an average of 15% left on the entire battery system. So that puts us about 35% on average between all of the batteries. So that's not very good. It was overcast for a few hours today, but the majority of the day was perfectly clear. So as far as being able to use this permanently as an off-grid system, I don't think it's possible, but that doesn't make it a bad system. If you're gonna be using this for emergency preparedness, I still think it's pretty good, but I would limit it more to something like just a fridge, maybe some CPAPs, lights, fans, some basic things. Unfortunately, there isn't enough solar input on it that during the day I can be running something like a window air conditioner. It could possibly run a 110 volt, like 12,000 BTU mini split, but other than that, I don't know. The point is because the battery bank is so large and with the solar input of only 800 watts, you wanna be mindful of how much power you're using to make sure that you don't use too much power because you wanna be able to recharge it during the day as well. 
I will have links down below as well as discounts, coupon codes, everything like that. I bought this with my own money. I do think EcoFlow makes really good products and I'm very excited for their Delta Pro. I'll be getting mine soon and you'll want to make sure you're subscribed so you can see that video as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll have links down below with coupons if there are any for all of this equipment, all the stuff that I'm using personally. Thank you so much for being supportive of the channel. Be prepared and see you guys in the next video.